In this video, I'll be going over editing avatar sizes. First, I'll start by showing you the library updates with the updated version of Clo 3 d Then we'll go into opening avatars, adjusting avatar measurements, saving those new avatar sizes, and then adding multiple avatars on one screen in case you wanted to view all of the sizes you created simultaneously. So you're going to start by opening Clo. Um, the new setup is pretty much the same. Instead of having the avatars on the left side, we only have the history and the modular library. In order to get to avatars now, we'll have to click on this icon on the top right corner, and then it pulls up your library. So the first tab is this C tab, which is everything in CLO. Um, you can see garments, avatars, fabric, different trims, as well as different stages. The next tab is close set. So instead of having to log into close set, download, so search different things from close set as well. You can also add your favorites and anything that you have saved. It's saved under your login for close set. Uh, the next tab is your library. This is going to take you to wherever you created a folder for Clo. I'm going to start from the C, the first tab, and go to avatar. Um, they've also added different avatars. We now have babies, and then we also have more of the kids. So I'm going to go through each so you can see. So right here we have one baby that also has the accessories and the poses there. Thing that's new is kids. So if I turn this on, you can see that there are um, those three T's, six months, nine months, 12 months. Um, it goes up to 18 months, 24 months, and it also has two to six. Um, and then it has um, an older seven to 20, and it has both uh, girls and boys for the older sizes. And then um, for one of the kids, it does have a female version, but you can always download more hair off close it. And then there's also mannequins. And then there are metahumans which have more realistic body types. You can't really edit the sizes of these. You have to use them as is, but these are more realistic body scans of humans. So I'm just going to just click on one. I'll open uh, a female one so that we can edit the sizes of her. All right, so once we have that, we can just minimize this box, okay? Um, one thing that I do want to say before you start editing your avatars, the avatar that opens when you initially open Clo and you just select a random avatar to open, it is a nine heads avatar, meaning that it's something that you would probably draw in an illustration class. I would suggest that you go to your avatar sizes. I would suggest that you go to the avatar um, sizes. So I'll go into female and go into sizes. And I would suggest that you select an ASTM size that kind of best fits your target market. For instance, if I wanted to make clothing for curvy women, I'm probably just going to go into uh, the curvy. And then I'm going to select one of the sizes for that. And as you see, she's significantly shorter. Um, we're going to go into avatar. It's the same as before. Go to Avatar Editor, and then our avatar editing pulls up on the right side. So initially, it's going to have a neck, base, bust, bicep, waist, hip, low hip, and thigh. You can change the width of the, of the avatar to a measurement for your bust, your underbust, or you can do your weight. Uh, I'm just going to do the bust for right now. Um, if there aren't enough measurements that you want to edit here, you can always click on the wheel over here where it has settings, and then you can click on different things that you want. For instance, I'm going to add mid-thigh so that it'll let me edit that. Um, I'm also going to add total rise. Uh, I'll add like HPS. This is the height over here. Um, and then maybe I'll add wrist or something or maybe calf 
And then once we have the ones that we selected, we can just press this back button right here. And now all of those options that we selected are now on here so that we can edit them. If you want to see all the measurements, um, even the ones that you're not um, able to edit, you can just click the button that is right beside uh, the wheel and it's to show all the measurements. It'll show you all the measurements, but the ones that you cannot edit will be grayed out. You can always turn it off as well. If you click on um, a measurement over here, it will show on the avatar for you to edit. You can either use the arrows or you can enter in a number and press enter. Some new things that they did add for this are at the bottom. So we do have hip dips now. So if we were to increase this hip dip, sometimes it runs a little slow. It will edit this portion of the body. Also, you can um, increase the volume of the hips. A shape, you can either have it as a ball or a teardrop. You can edit the space between, so you could make a bigger cleavage, and then you can also edit the height. So I'm going to look at this. First, I'm going to make her bust a little bit bigger so that we can actually see what we're doing. Just move this to a teardrop. As you can see, it drops lower. Um, and then I'm going to play with the height. I'm going to make them a little higher. I'm going to play with the width of them. And you can make them wider or you can make them more narrow. All right. Um, another thing that you can do is if you change this width option to underbust. Um, and we go into the settings. You can turn on this cup size here, and it shows you what the cup sizes are. If you want to edit what what double A or A or B or C means, you can do that here. Um, so then we're gonna go back. All right. So right now we have her under bust as thirty three. And we have her bust as a 38. So if I were to change her to, let's say, a D, it's going to update the bust automatically for me so that the difference between the underbust still makes sense for a D. Same as if I were to change it to, let's say, a, a A. We are completely done editing the measurements for this. We're going to save it. So we're going to click this uh, this uh, save file that's at the top right. And we are going to find a folder. Um, you'll have to find a folder in the Google Drive or you can make one on your desktop. Right? Saving as a .avs file. We have to save it as a .avs and we're going to save that. So now that size that we created can be added to any of the women's avatars. Another thing that you can save, if you go to save and change this to a CVS file, that is gonna be all of our measurements. So, so now if I want to add multiple avatars on this screen, I'm just gonna go back to where my avatars are. I'm gonna to go to female. Um, they don't even have to be the same avatar. I can add her which is a different avatar. So you just click on the avatar, click add instead of open, and then just press okay. All right, so they're going to add the avatar in. Her arms are automatically going to be out. So what you're going to do is click on the gizmo box and move her over. Pay attention to where her feet are because we want the feet to hit <clears throat> at the same position as here. So once we have that, we can click on her and change her pose. Um, it's going to ask you which avatar you want. I'm just going to select her and press OK. And then we have all the avatars here. You can keep doing that. Just know that the more avatars you add, the slower the computer may get. But you can add up to as many as you want here in order to add a different size. Once you have all your avatars on the screen, you can select size. Um, let's just select anything. We're just going to select anything and I'm going to put this on the new one, Mia. 
I just selected a maternity one, so we put that beside her. All right, so that is it for this uh, demonstration. Let me know if you have any questions or problems.